My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. All right, Vahid. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, myself, uh, Gagandeep Sidhu. And I'm, co I'm, I'm calling from India, uh, New Delhi. I am a life and a law of attraction uh, master coach. And uh, I have been into this profession for um, for last three years. So that's my ikigai. I'm also working as a vice president for digital robotics and analytics. So, uh, you know, of course, I, what I see is that the next five years, it's about digital. It's about like we are able to connect, you know, across several bios and leveraging the technology. And at the same time, about mental health and self-development. So these are the key areas for the future. And I think I'm blessed and I've used my law of attraction to be here on this channel. And I've been following your, uh, you know, Instagram lives with, so many, so many amazing personalities uh, who have been just uh, making a difference. So uh, three years back, I started uh, doing life coaching. I went through my own depression in 2015, 2016. And, uh, you know, post that, I thought, okay, once I had crossed that hurdle, I thought, okay, now it's time to, you know, go beyond reading these books and imparting that knowledge. Uh, I'm not sure because uh, there's so many people who, who don't read. They don't have an appetite to read. So whatever we read, and I think I'm, I'm passing that on with my own life experiences and with my own, um, you know, flavor of vitamin G. So uh, that's my brand and Positive Minds is, is, uh, is a part of it. So vitamin G, a daily dose of positivity. So I'm just trying to add value to one single person every day. If you come to my channel, if you come to my page, you will get something which you can relate to for your self-development if you're going through depression if you are planning to have a more fulfilling life so do have a vitamin g uh, every day because that's what uh, is the key to success so we all are focusing got a question for you here is yeah. here is what what a lot of people if you're brand new to so, to self development a lot of times you may not have all of the vocabulary explained to us and it makes yeah. it a little bit difficult because I'm a big believer if you don't understand the vocabulary and you don't dissect it, you can read a book and you come to a vocabulary that you don't understand. Like you shouldn't go beyond. You should understand it and then That's move right. on. So here's my question. What's the difference between conscious mind and subconscious mind? Because I feel like a lot of people confuse the both and the factors of it. So it makes a big difference. Okay. So um, I think... Subconscious mind and conscious mind um, you know, are, 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 the, are the part of our lives every day. So people who are listening, it's just that, uh, you know, a, a conscious mind is a uh, you know, door to a subconscious mind. It's it, it just, you know, filters out what should go in and what should not. Be. But basis, you know, uh, you know, the, the things and the experiences, we are not able to, as I said, that we are not able to distinguish what is a conscious mind and subconscious mind. I will just take an example here that uh, there's so many things which we do in our you know subconscious mind. For example, we travel from one place to another. And uh, I think what, you consciously take a decision that after 500 meters, I have to take a right. Okay. But simultaneously, your subconscious mind starts working. You are changing the gear. You are, you're slowing down. You are putting the, you know, put, slowing down from escalator, going to brake and changing the gear, putting on indicator and looking in the back mirror and the side mirror. So all of this is happening subconsciously. And I think in today's world, when we are so tech savvy and phone, so we text also, we call also while you are driving. So what is that? We that don't recommend that. We don't recommend <laughs> you doing that. But I know, <laughs> listen, the other day I was texting, I was talking, I was eating and driving at the same time simultaneously. But I wasn't going fast. It wasn't yeah. on the freeway. And there was but a lot of... Uh, that, yes. It's just yeah, an example. Don't recommend that. But that happens subconsciously. Go ahead. Yeah, so that happens subconsciously because uh, you're not aware. Because that's how when people are trying to be a positive person, first of all, you have to be a positive thinker. And then you, after training yourself subconsciously and consciously, you become a positive person. Okay. So how subconscious works is that, for example, we all go to uh, cinema halls to watch movies, right? So for one and a half hours or two hours, we, we are completely intrigued into the movie if it is interesting, if it is action, if it has romance, we have different kind of feelings. So for those two hours, we are just engrossed. 
and at times we come back home and we carry some feelings with us which can be if the movie was uh, you know light you will laugh about the jokes which you uh, which you noticed in the movie if it was heavy blood you will come back and you will feel heavy no okay let's have something better and chill out so uh, so what is that so we know that that movie is fictional it does it may have resemblance but it it is fictional but our subconscious mind takes all of the all of it and for years we remember that movie why is that so so by using affirmations by by choosing the words we use every day in our life we can train our subconscious mind because it doesn't distinguish between true and false right and wrong that's the reason which is so a, which is a big to... indicator which is a big deal because it cannot distinguish and if whatever you tell it it will it will it will act up on it and you touched up on affirmation so let's let's elaborate a little bit on that because i feel like a lot of people i don't want to say lazy because i delayed it also to myself i yeah. think i didn't understand the full potential of it that's why i didn't take action to it if it wasn't that i was lazy or i didn't have my discipline i just yeah. didn't know but when i realized that the the effect of it and implementation of it could help me a lot i started taking action so tell us a little bit about affirmations so uh, affirmations a uh, lot of lot of people have uh, you know confusion about it that these are lazy things you can't do anything affirmation doesn't work but primarily it is the self talk which is important you know the kind of self talk you are you know you do yourself so if you talk about any big leader they use the affirmations that you know we all get nervous if we if today i am you know facing around 200 people or 1000 people if tomorrow if i become a president of india or a, a party or a party president of any political state i will still have that anxiety right that how to portray will my words come out right so the affirmation work that you know they all practice they say okay i'm a good orator i'm a, uh, for example people who want money they can just start saying increase improve their relationship with money that how i start my day why is that whenever i get up first thing i tell myself looking into the mirror that you are awesome i am awesome i can do anything so these words have so much of power of course when we start it doesn't have this much of conviction like i am able to say that right now and you can sense that that when i say okay my my neurons my energy my vibrations everything change so affirmations once done repeatedly will give you a lot of action to to uh, to support that for example we all go to gym right for example i want to build biceps okay so it's not about the weight you pick up it's about the number of repetitions you do right so if you want, if you want to go to gym and work on your waist or legs or thighs or your biceps it's the number of repetitions which count similarly to train your subconscious mind affirmation is that activity is that exercise if done repeatedly with the right technique and with a positive attitude it will make wonderful changes and i think albert einstein newton and people 200 years back also they used affirmation in that right way so that's the power of it you know it it, it is effective because it is it is reaching your subconscious mind if i tell you why you are awesome which you are you've been doing great job but it won't matter unless you say that to yourself right i'm sure you say that to yourself a lot many times that external i think my wife is having a problem with that me saying it too much so after a while she's like <laughs> <laughs> so then you have to balance that you have to of course uh, use uh, your subconscious mind to compliment or maybe give a you know any diamond ring or something so, but, but but that's <laughs> very very important the way we the the perception of what we have of our own selves makes a big difference regardless if i tell you you're genius you're high iq you're good looking you're awesome you're wealthy you're good whatever the case might be i don't think that has that much effect as much as us having uh, our own inner talk and here is the, the the crazy part i noticed with children that get bullied the ones that know who they are yes and they know where their values are they may not get bullied even though in size wise they might be smaller it doesn't have as much as effect because yeah. they know who they are when you yeah. don't know who you are and you haven't done the inner work 
anybody's opinion immediately become your opinion of yourself. But if their opinion is wrong and you know who you are, you just say, what's wrong with you? Why are you saying this? Are you having a bad day? So you yeah. won't take it inside. It's almost as if you have your guard up and it just bounces right back up. Because if I tell you right mm -hmm. now, if it's like daytime over there and you yeah. know, you know, it's not, not, you know, it's not daytime. You're like, Vahid must be drunk. He must get the time zone wrong. He must not know where I am or he might be confused or he hasn't gone outside for me. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't take it personal that I got yeah. the time zone wrong. You're like, something is wrong with him. That's the same thing with like not knowing yourself. So I think the biggest thing people can do is do the inner work. Yes, that's right. And I think uh, in my law of attraction workshops, which I do, um, I do recommend everybody to do a self uh, self mirror practice. Is just that look at yourself in in mirror uh, without any judgments, without any, any any feelings about it. And I think for first three four minutes it's quite awkward because when I did it for the first time it was a bit awkward. But that's the only person which matters in my life. So when you start looking at yourself and you start uh, looking inside your soul and of course the inner child awakens and. That's where you need to feel. And uh, it is difficult for many people. I think 40% people who whom I give this activity, they come back to me, you know, we could not do that. Because how, how, how easy is that you just have to look at the person, you know, in the mirror, right? And, and it becomes awkward. Why? So that's where the problem lies. And as you said, to, to find yourself, you have to face yourself. You have to forgive yourself. You don't have to compare yourself. We all have made mistakes. Forgive yourself. You know, be kind to yourself. And that's where there's so many limiting beliefs. There's so much environment around uh, people that matters. But yes, uh, that's where the key is that you have to look inside your own soul. Develop, you know, higher your you know, higher self worth. That's how we actually become better individuals. And I follow, you know. Uh, so many, uh, so many, so many professionals, but then, you know, the only thing which differentiates uh, winners and legends from losers is their mindset. Talk about, you know, Michael Phelps, you know, and uh, talk about Tiger Woods, talk about any celebrity or any athlete. They use their subconscious mind and visualization technique to be what they are today. No, I, I think having a coach, a mentor, and, and reading books and go. And, and you want to know something crazy? I think it's easy not to do. That's why a lot of people don't do it. Because right now, today, with the technology, I don't know anybody. I mean, I'm in the U.S., you're in India, but let me know if it's different over there. I don't know anybody around me that doesn't have access to the knowledge and the information that's online just just if you take YouTube as a platform, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, like if you go there and you search a topic, you yeah. should be able to get a lot of information. So yeah. this idea of I didn't have access to it or I didn't know, it's going to be obsolete very soon because yeah. even people with the limited amount of income on a set income, the government gives you a cell phone and internet connection. Now, it may not be the fastest internet, but at least you have access to have it access to and it. you should be able to catch yourself reading and consuming good materials to advance your life. So those yes. excuses are going to be gone very soon. Yes, I think uh, this is the, and I think this is the right time because we have been, uh, I think, locked down for 60 days, more than that. And people were saying that I didn't have enough time. I don't have enough time. In last 60 days, we have, we have had enough time. Have you done enough courses? Have you invested in yourself? And as you said, right, you guys, that, you know, with the click of uh, internet, you can, uh, you can go to YouTube to watch some songs or to go and watch some gold digger pranks. <laughs> or you can at the same time watch something related to, you know, Abraham X or Napoleon Hill. You know, I love the book, which you always keep, uh, you know, on the frame. And uh, it's, it's just that what you focus on, it grows. And law of attraction also says that. You know, what you focus on, it grows. And I think in last 70 days, I have been the most busy and I have been more productive because uh, now I'm leveraging people who were earlier hesitant. So they are okay to come on Zoom calls and sessions to have personal coaching. Oh, you know, the, of course, as you said, the idea is going to be absolute. You know, it is already. 
it's just that we have don't accept that so either you can make tiktok videos to you know or watch it all the day you know 24 hours or, or rather pick up a book if you can't read there are so many audio available yes sir, the information is there if they're yeah. giving excuses they're they're negotiating with success you cannot negotiate with success you must do the work you must pay the price you must be willing you must yes. be willing voluntarily to go and do the action if you don't do it it's not going to happen here's my um my question for you what's your favorite self help book what's one of your favorite books my favorite book if i talk one it would not be a uh, no uh, justice uh, doing to any author but i think the one big book which changed my thought process was again uh, think and grow rich uh, because it has been very very you know in a very simple words is written and uh, and i can drive all law of attraction subconscious mind and uh, seven ha- habits of highly effective people compressed into one book because uh, you know all those six pointers or those topics are so amazingly well written so that is one book which actually changed but yes i as much as i'm reading and i think i haven't read enough you know so far in my life but as much as i'm reading um, i think it's 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 evolving so but yeah think and grow rich is one book which is which is my all time favorite and then secret and then uh, you know there's so many books which you read and i think uh um, maybe after 50 years when uh, you know in, in when somebody comes on instagram live they will take name of my book that that's a favorite book so that's what i'm aiming for perfect listen looking forward to it how do people find you oh uh, i think i i'm 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 warm i'm effective in a way that because i keep my sessions and my uh, and my way of working very friendly and non judgmental because and i think i like to pass on knowledge in 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 some wicked examples also right because uh, you know this everybody re- reads the secret everybody reads the book but you have to give them an anchor or you have to give them something to remember so let me give you an example that you know i follow gratitude a lot okay so people are not dis- able to distinguish how does gratitude help in our life uh, let me give an example there uh, for example why do you go out you have two chocolates and you see you see you know two kids you know and they and you offer them chocolate one kid run keeps comes running to you and you give him a chocolate or her, her a chocolate and they say thank you and give you a kiss on your cheek okay and run the way you know in excitement there's another kid who comes to you shyly uh, takes a chocolate and then goes away and then his mother says oh sit say thank you to wahid and he or she will say thank you and go away but next day you go again but this time you only have one chocolate you can't break that chocolate so whom will you give that chocolate by that's a tough question that's a tough one that's a, so there there's still two kids there's still two kids yes it's probably most people will probably give it to the person who was more thankful yes that's right because uh because the, that's how because you saw the emotion you saw the gratitude you saw that smile and you saw that you know twinkle in the eyes and an initiative so similarly uni- universe also works on the same thing you know that if you want to be the first child or the second child so we all are children for the universe and if you're thankful for what you already have that's how you you get more so counting your blessings counting what you already have makes a lot of impact so that's where the fight for me also is constantly to be the number one child not be the second child so i'm sure you will remember this story for gratitude now and this is how i you know uh, tell which is not written in books but then uh, i try and innovate and uh, pass it on to the people we're going to write in your book we're going to write in your book that's it that's how it's going to be listen i want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning this afternoon uh, uh, definitely at love the 12 10 a.m. yeah yeah so it's 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 very exciting because i was looking at your instagram You got a lot of amazing posts so definitely keep up the good work. You and I are going to be in contact. We're going to do a lot of great things together. Sure, Looking forward bye. to it. Thank you so much for having me. It's wonderful to have you. Keep doing great work. You Thank got you. it, brother. Talk to you soon. Take care everybody. Bye.